All right, the most long awaited review of the Midwest Mountain Engineering Clutch Lever is here. I have listened to you guys. You have been commenting on my last video. Here is the review and I'm very excited to share my thoughts and my opinions, my honest truths about how I feel about the easy pull lever. Hey, what's up? It's Angelisa and I am the owner and founder of Brat Babes, which is a content creator. I specialize in content creation. I produce movies over on my Brat Babes YouTube channel. So make sure you guys go follow me over there. And uh, there's so much more that I do over on Brat Babes. But for this channel, on my personal channel, I share my experiences with you. As far as sled and dirt bike setups, I am short, <laughs> as I have mentioned before, and these products and surfaces that I talk about are massive wins in my books and they help me become a better rider. I'm not a professional dirt biker, I'm not a professional sledder, snowmobiler, but what I am very experienced in is living in this five foot zero inch frame and I just want to share the love with you guys, the love of the products that I find is working for me. Again, it's not going to work for everyone. Everyone's bodies are different, which is amazing. Um, but if I can help you or somebody that you know, amazing. That's just what I'm here for. All right, well, let's get started in the clutch lever that I use. All right, so this is just a disclaimer. I am not affiliated with Midwest Mountain Engineering clutch levers. This is not a sponsored post. This is just my true authentic opinion, thoughts on the easy pull clutch lever as uh, I've been riding with it for the past few months. I installed it, I think it was back in January of this year of 2022 and it is now August 18th, 2022. So I have been putting in some hours, not a whole lot as I am limited with my time of riding, but I feel like I have now experienced the clutch in different settings, which is great. So again, not a sponsored video, just voicing my opinion on this clutch lever. If you have the Midwest Mountain Engineer clutch lever and you're not sure how to install it, then you can check out my video. I'll post it on this screen. And uh, I just gotta be quite honest here. When I first got the lever, I didn't know how to install it. And yes, there were directions in the package, but what I found very helpful was one of, be one of best, his video. I watched that on how he installed it and I found that was extremely helpful so I'm gonna try to post that on the screen here and if I can't it will be on the description box down below so please go check out his video or check out mine I hope mine <laughs> is helpful uh, if not you can check out one of us and I feel like his it was extremely helpful for me after I installed the clutch lever, my first ride was over on the Sunshine Coast in Seashell. I put in my first day, I put in over 50 kilometers of riding. I went through a fuel tank of gas and I was completely green on this KTM 150 XCW. Just to recap, I used to be on a 105 KTM SX, so little kids bike but it had the big wheels. Having this 150 KTM was a huge upgrade for me, just a bigger bike all around. And uh, I needed that easy pull clutch because the stock clutch was horrible. I had to use all four fingers just to squeeze the clutch and that meant there was no grip on my handlebar. So if you can imagine trying to climb on a, rocks on a steep climb up, like that was just not happening for me. <laughs> so I had to come up with a new way on how to ride this. So on the Seashelt ride, the Sunshine Coast Dirt Bike Association, uh, we were lucky enough to be guided through the trail system there. Beautiful trail system. I highly recommend going over there. It's one of my favorite places to be on the Sunshine Coast. Anyways, I forgot one specific tool. <laughs> And good 
thing, I have my toolkit here with me so that I can show you what that specific tool is. So I have this Allen key. I don't know the size. I, I am sorry. I will put that in the, I'll find that out and put it in the description box for you guys. It's tiny. It's uh, this Allen key right here. Bring this with you at all times. Have it in your toolkit. I put it in a bag so uh, I cannot lose it. As you can see, it's super tiny. So that would be my number one recommendation. Always carrying this, have it in a bag in your toolkit. You're gonna need some adjustments. You're gonna need to fiddle with the screw in the clutch lever, lever, lever. When you install this lever, it's just not gonna be a quick fix. That's what I'm trying to say. It's not gonna be a quick fix because you have to adjust it for you. Just like anything else from your suspension to maybe even your tire pressure. Everything's gonna be different for different terrain, different trails, maybe you're riding the track, whatever it is, um, you're gonna need to spend the time on figuring out what you like. And the engagement point is gonna be different. So again, you're gonna be fiddling around with that, seeing what works. And that means it's gonna take some seat time to figure it out. So it's not gonna be just one day and boom, you have your clutch lever dialed. No, it's gonna be a few days. Okay, so bring that Allen key with you at all times as adjustments will need to be made. And this is where I'm gonna be extremely honest with you and might come across extremely harsh. I don't mean it by any means. If anything, it's calling myself out. If you're the type of rider that wants a quick fix, that just wants to go out and ride and just do minimal adjusting, but wants that easy pull clutch lever or whatever you do to set up your bike, if you don't want to take the time to install it properly and get it proper for you and your comfortability, then this product is not for you. And I hate to even say this word, but it's not for the lazy rider, which again, I'm calling myself out because I tend to be a lazy rider, but in order for me to do these things, to set up these products properly, it does take time and it does take practice and patience patience is number one i don't have a whole lot of patience but again being a five foot zero inch rider if i can get my dirt bike set up for me and my comfortability then the rides are just going to be that much better but if you are somebody that likes to tinker with their bikes that likes to spend the time dialing in their setup then i highly 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 recommend this product as i love it so much and it honestly makes my riding easier. Again, easier as in I am not thinking about the clutch when I'm trying to mentally prepare big obstacles that are in my way when I'm in the trails, if you catch my drift. A few things to note about the clutch lever is once you install it and you've dialed your engagement point to where you like it, I recommend warming up your bike. Give it at least seven minutes for it to warm up because I find that if I just jump on my bike without a warm up and start riding, well, I have no engagement whatsoever. It moves around, I find, but now I just start it up, I leave it for seven minutes, and then I jump on my bike and it's perfect. And I haven't had to adjust my clutch lever for a few months now, so that's awesome. And with this clutch lever, I only use one finger. I am a one finger type gal. <laughs> I have never experienced finger fatigue since installing this clutch lever. It's really nice knowing that I don't need to worry about getting finger fatigue or my hand hurting because I'm just mentally more focused on the terrain that I'm tackling, whether it is bushwhacking, creating our own trails, or we're on the trail systems, or even playing in my own enduro track. Now, a couple of my friends have tried the Midwest uh, Mountain Engineer clutch lever, and they still find that the lever is stiff. One of them's riding a Husqvarna and the other one a Beta. I have tried their clutch and it is a lot stiffer than mine. So I'm not experienced in those bikes. So I'm not sure why it would be stiffer than mine because the whole reason why I bought this clutch lever was because of the easy pull. And I bought it because 
because our local shop, Revolution Power Sports in Whistler, they had it. So, you know, that was my only opportunity to try a easy pull clutch lever. So I gave it a try, loved it. So overall, do I think that the Midwest Mountain Engineering clutch lever is right for you? It all depends. <laughs> It depends on the type of rider that you are. If you're the type of rider that likes to tinker, that likes to set up things to make your riding easier or more comfortable, or you don't want to think about it while you're riding, then yes, I highly recommend. However, if you are the type of rider that wants a quick fix, or if you're like, eh, I don't need it, my clutch, my stock clutch is fine, then you don't need to get it. <laughs> And if you do, or if you're thinking about getting one, maybe hop on a friend's bike that has it and find out for yourself if you like it, if you love it. And there you have it. I hope that this video gives you a little bit more information, a little bit more of a review, an honest review from a five foot zero inch rider that's on a KTM 150 XCW. This is a lever that I absolutely love and has helped me and my riding exponentially. And especially on a bigger bike, as mentioned before with the stock clutch, it was just no bueno, it just didn't, wasn't working for me. If something is working really well for me, then I share it. I share it with the world, I share it with you, I share it with my friends. I think if it works for me, maybe it would work for somebody else. So if you found this video helpful, if you found that there was some great value in it, let me know. Let me know in the comments. If you feel like this video might help somebody else, please share it. But you know what, I'm, I'm curious. If you have the Midwest Mountain Engineering Clutch, what are your thoughts on it? What are your opinions? I'm very curious as I hear so much and uh, I just want the comment section to be yours. Post your opinions and thoughts and I'm sure it's gonna help somebody else in uh, with their purchase, you know? I think the more feedback we get, the better it is for all of us. The floor is yours. <laughs> All right, and last but not least, I just recently attended Graham Jarvis's clinic in Squamish, BC. It was his first women's only clinic, and I'm just so honored and grateful to be a part of that. I learned so much. I tried to capture the day. I tried to capture my thoughts, so you can check out that video over here if you haven't seen it already. But yeah, that was a, a wild time. Insane. He's such an insane rider. He's one of my heroes, so... It was just really cool to see them in person. All right, so that's all I have for you guys today. Thanks again for watching. Thanks for being here. It means so much to me. And until next time, go wrap it out and go have fun. Be safe. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Bye for now.